Hello and welcome back to the Common Colt Podcast, a Colts podcast with real takes and no clickbait. I'm Josh Hudgens, joined by Dan Hertzler. Dan, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Enjoying, uh, again, another college basketball for those that are out there in Colt Nation. I'm a big, huge college hoops fan. Got some good games, both men and women. Caitlin Clark show, about ready to get off, man. We're excited about that. But, hey, we're not talking about basketball. Nope. We're talking about the Colts. And some big news kind of yes. popped the uh, uh, last 24 hours. Josh, you want to share us what that is? Yeah, Jeremy Fowler of ESPN is reporting that um, there's a lot of buzz, his words, not mine, uh, right now with the Colts potentially selecting Will Levis. He took it a step further and said uh, he texted Kentucky's head coach about it, uh, Mark Stoops, who told him, he's like, all I can say is the Colts did their homework on Will Levis. He then reported a step further and said uh, there's a lot of teams that think something could be there between the Colts and, and Will Levis. Um, I throw that all at you. I want to get your take on it. I'll give you mine. What, what do you think about that stuff right there? Yeah. You know, I think I think some of this stuff is is interesting the way that it's reported. Um, and, and again, we got to remember we're, we're in this big, huge smoke screen season. So you're going to hear a lot of this stuff. I, I think the way it was reported, though, to me was that if he's there at four, they would take him. But they didn't say who else was there at four. Would they take them over him? So yeah. I think that's the one key element in all this. Um, you know, I, I think to me, uh, I am, you know, I'm not going to tell everyone to bet the farm or bet their life savings, but I think you can bet the fact the Colts are taking a quarterback. I, I think that's going to be locked in. I, I don't think they're going to pass on a quarterback. They're taking one. I think they like, like Will Levis, but I don't know if they like him more than they like the other three. That's still yet to be seen. Well, it's interesting. You know, I, I think this is almost lazy reporting because even this head coach saying the Colts did um, their homework on Will Levis. Well, if they didn't do their homework, then what are they getting paid for? Like, <laughs> like what, what is Ballard doing? Yeah. It's, it's just yeah. Chris Ballard is a guy known to do his homework, maybe more than any other. G like this head coaching search with Shane Steichen. Remember how long that took and how extensive these interviews they, they were saying? It's kind of like an anomaly uh, head coach search because the Colts were yeah. so intensive with their interview process. I imagine this court, quarterback search process is the same way. And actually, yeah. to, to uh, back up my point, uh, there were reports that the Colts were uh, turned down trading with the Bears because they hadn't done enough research quite yet to see if they who they're going to trade up for number one. So they yeah. they are definitely doing their research on all these quarterbacks. I do like that. Now um, he made a, a quote that said the team think there could be something there. Obviously, something could be there because the Colts do need a quarterback and Will yeah. Levis kind of he might fit Shane Steichen seem well uh, throwing. PAs, uh, PA passes and RPOs. So I think I think he might be a bit of a yeah. fit. He is a, I mean, he is a talented quarterback who, if that talent can be harnessed, could be very good. But the question is, yeah. can he be consistent? Um, yeah. So do you think? Uh, here's a question, and we talked about this last time. Are you still thinking if if the Colts are there at number four and Richardson and Levis are left, are you still thinking the picks Richardson? So you know, yeah, I, and I want to piggyback on what you said. You brought up a good point about the coaching hire, Shane Steichen. Um, I think they really had this guy locked in. This was the guy that they wanted. And because of the long run that the Eagles had, they yeah. couldn't go ahead and pull the trigger. But they weren't rushing. They were they weren't jumping to something or they weren't gonna, you know, ah say, forget it. We'll, we'll go uh, you know, with plan B. I think the same thing is setting up for the quarterback position. They purposely went out and got Gardner Minshew because he fits the system. He's a plug and play quarterback for a few weeks but he's not the answer because they know they're drafting one. They like all four of these guys. They pick four. One. Yeah, the math works, okay? They can get a quarterback, <laughs> all right? They're going to get one of them. Now the question that you raise is, is really important here. Is it Anthony Richardson or is it Will Levis? This part, I don't fully know what the Colts think. Me personally, from the outside, again, we're just common fans. We're common Colt fans. Yes, sir. We, we, we read things. We see things. We watch things. We hopefully bring a little bit of intelligence into it but we don't we don't have any inside information to me i always like the guy that has the higher upside in, in anthony richardson he's younger he's got a little bit more athleticism uh, i think he can just be one of those generational talents will he be I, I can't tell you that but i think he can be uh if i'm saying what's his ceiling his ceiling's like a, a 10 to me his floor might be a zero yeah his, floor <laughs> but his ceiling's a 10 Will Levis, I think his ceiling could be really around that 8-9 range. I think it's pretty high, too. But his floor, 
it's probably a little bit more around two or three where, you know, Bryce Young and, and CJ Stroud, their ceilings are probably eight, nine range too. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think they're going to be good. And their ceiling or their floors might be like a four or five. Yeah. They're, they're not as low. So, so that's what we're looking at. But if I'm taking the pick, I want to go for the home run. I really believe in Shane Steichen, and so I'm excited that that him and this quarterback could be mixed. Yeah, and we talked about this, uh, I believe, last episode where each quarterback is so polarizing, and yep. it's it's an interesting draft because Colts fans remember back in 2012 with Luck. I mean, there were a few goofballs who wanted RG3, but the <laughs> yeah. general consensus was Andrew Luck was a pick, and, and there wasn't really a whole more thought to it. So this year it's, it's a little bit more different, and we don't quite control our own destiny either. We're picking four. Um, so... Looking at this off season, I'm thinking, you know, here we are a few weeks before the draft. Yeah. I think you and I both agree that it might leak who the Panthers are taking number one yeah. um, at some point, which could give us some clarity uh, on what, yeah. what might happen next. Uh, for, but for the Colts specifically, I'm thinking it's going to be a dead time now. So we're going to hear reports like this a lot, and we're just going to have yeah. to learn to like control our emotions a little bit and just let this thing play out. I think roster-wise, we might see Mo Ali cox get cut. Uh, they just yep. signed Farrell Brown and Malala Cox got signed last off season to close to an $18 million contract. Um, yep. I thought that was a little high at the time. And, and now with the tight end room that they have with Grants and, and um, a few of these other young guys, Woods, yeah. Woods it just, it just makes sense to release Cox. Yep. But other than that, I, I don't see much Colts news over the next few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I think the Colts are, are pretty much the roster locked now for the draft. You would potentially see some, uh, you know, June one veteran cuts that the Colts might get in on after the draft. We'll talk yeah. about that obviously later, because again, as we've we've spent so much time on the quarterback position, but they're still needy at wide receiver, they're still needy right. at cornerback, they're still needy defensive line, in my opinion, they're needy at guard. Uh, so they got some other issues as well too. But this is who they are, and, and to your point, these these reporters, hey, they're looking for clicks just like anyone else. Uh, they're yeah. looking for reports. They got to fill deadlines, and so they're gonna they're gonna play off of anything that they hear. Um, I, I think the only news that came out of this to me was that they're getting a quarterback at one four, and that's that's locked in. Yeah, guys, let us know what you think again about all this. And one more quiz question: I want you, if you've watched this far, then you uh, then I want you to comment: Should I keep the beard going or should I shave it? I'm no. thinking about, I'm thinking about growing this thing out. So let me know. Um, uh, holidays coming up. I need to know before the holidays. So. <laughs> Hey guys, I appreciate you watching and until next time, have a great day.